Hey, it's Matt with your A1 Extra presented by New Hearing Center. The holidays bring the return of longtime Appalachia tradition of the Santa train and its 110 mile run, bringing joy to folks in Kentucky, Virginia and Tennessee. Here's David McGee. We are in Kingsport, Tennessee. There is a chill in the air, but Appalachia is going to get warmed up on Saturday with the 80th running of the Santa Train. Santa Train will be back on the rails for the first time in two years due to COVID. We're at Food City in Kingsport, Tennessee, and we've got uh, some of Santa's elves are packing hundreds, thousands of items, toys and food items uh, that will be loaded onto the train for distribution throughout Southwest Virginia. Uh, and uh, winding up in Kingsport, Tennessee this weekend on Saturday. We'll be covering all the activities of the Santa Train, uh, the 80th running, uh, very ex big excitement in, in Southwest Virginia and Northeast Tennessee, uh, having a long time tradition back on the rails. Uh, we've already, we did an advance this past weekend that talked about the train and, and all the steps they've had to take because they just announced this a few weeks ago. Uh, so they've basically worked night and day uh, to get everything in place, to get everything back on uh, on the rails. And so they will be getting underway on uh, Saturday, leaving Pike County, Kentucky, and coming back to Kingsport, Tennessee with 14 stops along a 110 mile route. Probably the most important part of this is just the talking to the people, the, the reactions of the people. Uh, you see so many generations along the route when you go and interview folks maybe 60 or 70 year old folks who've been coming to the train for, for generations. Uh, their parents brought them, they're bringing their kids, their grandkids, their great grandkids uh, to get a piece of uh, tradition that uh, is, it, you don't see this in a lot of places, but you do see it in Southwest Virginia. All right, that's it. Make sure you log on to heraldcourier.com for more reporting and stories of Bristol and Southwest Virginia. And remember to follow along on social at Herald Courier. We'll see you next week for another A1 Extra presented by New Hearing Center.